Even when the world came to a standstill during the height of the COVID-19 pandemic, global carbon emissions only dropped by 3 to 4 percent. We are here now, but we need to be here. I'm Grace, the co-founder of Unravel Carbon and a mother of a three-year-old daughter. Climate change used to be debated, but now everyone knows it is real and very urgent. When my daughter was about to turn two, we had to write a will and I realised that what is the point of leaving her with all these material things when the planet she inherits from us may not even be habitable. That was the first time I truly connected with the future and I educated myself and changed my life towards solving climate change. 46 people were killed after a 5.6 magnitude Nearly earthquake. Nearly all of the world's glaciers are losing mass. Super Typhoon Noru crashed into the main island of the Philippines. Climate scientists have shown that when global temperatures rise by 1.5 degrees above pre-industrial levels, there will be irreversible damage to Earth. In order to prevent this, we must reach a net zero emission by 2050 and half our emissions today by 2030. Many companies and governments have pledged net zero emission targets. Net zero means achieving a balance between greenhouse gas emissions produced and greenhouse gas emissions removed from the atmosphere. Now, Asia is home to 70% of global supply chains and we are responsible for 60% of global greenhouse gas emissions. Yet, we are not doing much about things. So Unravel Carbon is an AI-powered decarbonisation platform that helps companies track and reduce and report their carbon emissions. By having insights into their emission hotspots, most of our clients feel that for the first time, they have the insights and the power to do something about it. One of our clients is Salad Stop, Asia's largest salad chain. We opened the first net zero F&B outlet in Southeast Asia, not just for the Salasop group, but for the whole F&B industry. And this was powered by the Unravel Carbon platform. So Unravel Carbon ingested our data so that we could quantify greenhouse gas emissions across our entire supply chain, construction, and embodied emissions. This way, we can also identify carbon reduction opportunities that we can take. So we use refurnished wood um, from Singapore to create the tabletops as well as a few features in the outlet. Ingredient-wise, we serve more than 90% plant-based options and try to source as much locally as possible. Our goal is really to have 70 outlets to go net zero by 2025, starting from this outlet being our first template. In the past, I didn't take sustainability issues seriously. I've always been passive about the impact of climate change, and I read about it on headlines and hear people talk about it. But now, powered with platforms such as ours, I think we have the power to create a new reality for ourselves and for the generations to come. The conclusion is clear. There is no time to waste. We have to move away from an era of promises and pledges to plans and pathways. It is still possible for us all to be part of the solution.